Hi everyone, this is Sara Naveed. I am quite excited with doing a Q&A session with all of you. I asked all of you to post a couple of questions regarding my upcoming book. Uh, the name is Love and Affliction. Uh, Love and Affliction is a new adult uh, romance thriller novel that uh, has a very intense and dark story. Uh, I'd say that it has a more mature bold and more intense characters this time so I have tried to work out you know I tried to bring out as much reality as I can to this book and I hope all of you can relate to the characters of this novel and I hope all of you love it. I posted a couple of questions on Facebook as well as Twitter and I was uh, thrilled to find out that the response was really amazing. You guys have really, you know, showed a lot of love and support for me and uh, I'm quite, uh, you know, excited to find you guys so excited for my upcoming novel. The guys, uh, all of you have been sending me a lot of fan made book covers for my upcoming book. Uh, too bad that I'm still not able to decide what shall be the book cover of Love Infliction. I remember when I was writing on my Infinity, its book cover was something that was on my mind since the first day. But this time I'm totally clueless. My mind is totally blank. I don't know what sort of cover uh, would be kept for this book. Okay, so without wasting further time, I'll quickly go through your questions and ask, answer them as soon as possible. The first question is from Aksa Anwar. Hi Aksa, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your question. She says, is it different from Unending Infinity or the same story? She's waiting for a different concept this time. Yes, definitely this is much more different than in Unending Infinity. As I said, Unending Infinity is, uh, was a young adult novel, whereas this one is a new adult novel. So basically, a lot of difference between the two of them. The second question is from Nana Arif. Hi Nana. I hope you're good. Don't you think that you should use your pen for something other than love-based ideas like grafting a soul of Islamic idealism, uh, idealism in new generation? Uh, I think then I'm not uh, very, uh, no, I'm not very well crafted or well educated as far as Islam is concerned. I don't want to get in, in, into any sort of controversy if I pick up an Islamic subject. So I think I'm uh, better if I write. Uh, fiction novels as of now who knows at later stage I might consider myself good enough to pick up Islamic subject and write something about it this question is from brownie eyes I hope I knew your original name anyways her first question is when will I get this book from bookstores because I'm only for more two weeks in Pakistan I'm so sorry brownie eyes because uh, I won't be able to get it published in the next two weeks but I hope you've read my first novel. It is definitely available in all the bookstores. You can get your hands on it. Okay, she's asking me another question. Second question is related to my profession. She says, have you switched your profession from management and accounting to writer or you continued both professions simultaneously? Well, definitely I haven't switched my profession. I'm still very much in, into the management. I'm also uh, a working woman. I also do a day job. like every other person do, does and uh, obviously I'm handling my writing career and my other professional career side by side. Okay, the other question is from Nushi Khan. Uh, hi Nushi, congratulations Sara, you are a writer, a reader and if you do core, other course then how you manage time to get things done? It's, it's really difficult sometimes when you are doing a lot of things but if you're determined about something, like I am de determined about writing, so I always manage to take out time for the, for the things I love doing. Next question is from Zoha Numani. Hi Zoha, I hope you're doing well. What was your inspiration for writing this novel? Okay, for Anna Infinity, I must had sort of some inspiration. But for this novel, I guess my inspiration was all of my readers. I drew inspiration from your support and from, from your continuous love that you all gave me. Uh, you all love my first book and uh, the reviews that I sort of got from Unending Infinity were thrilling or amazing. And I, I guess those reviews, those positive reviews were enough to give me enough inspiration so that I could, you know, take charge of my pen and write down another book. And there's also one more question from the same person. You must have written down about your observations and learnings about love. We do, obviously we do learn a lot from others' experiences. We learn what 
people around us tell us about relationships, about love, about heartbreaks. So I guess that that gives you enough information and knowledge that you want to have when you're writing a book. So the next question is from Abrar Ahmed. Please explain your short view about love and and love and affliction. A short view. I'd rather say that it's a romance thriller novel, and uh, it's based around a very dark subject. The characters of this novel are very dark, deep, and complicated. So I guess intense. They are quite intense. So when you read the book, then you let me know whether they were intense or not. The next question is from Devastator Hussain. When can I get a copy? Also from where? We waiting eagerly. I'll definitely let you know whenever you can get a copy because uh, right now I'm still working on second draft. The next question is from Uruj Mukhtar. Uh, when it is going to be published? Very soon, inshallah, because I'm sending it the manuscript to different publishing houses. I'll be sending it to India and abroad. Let's see how it goes. Until then, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. The next question is from Muhammad Bilal. When it be will be published? Just nothing else. I just told, I already told you the answer. Okay, Rubab Usman asked me how your this work differs from your previous novel. Unknown Infinity was a young adult novel, and this one is a new adult novel. This is the major difference that you find when you read the book. The next question is from Naima Sodagar. God bless you. Thank you so much, and I will be a great and will be a great day in your life. and i hope your hopes to have a great day with you and me thank you for this sweet message naima acha so i think i'm done with the questions on my page and i'm moving on to the questions posted in love and affliction page so the first question is from rutaba hashmi hi rutaba i hope you're well what is your genre of love and affliction what is the difference in and when compared to your debut book i i think i already answered this question but for you once again i'd say that The genre for love and affliction is romance thriller, and it's a new adult uh, novel, and it's definitely much much different than my first one. Salia also wrote, "Ask me, is it your second novel? Yes, it it will be my second novel." Shahab Sheikh asked me, "Give us five reasons that compel us to read." Five reasons. Uh, first would be that um, it's my second novel. Second, um, it's a love story with a much more Uh, intense background to it. And third would be it's a novel published by a Pakistani writer, and uh, fourth, it deals with a very serious matter, terrorism, and it's, and fifth, it shows a very positive image of the army, what army is doing to eliminate, to eradicate terrorism from our country. Otina Boris, hi Otina, I hope you are well. Aaja, her question is, F K, I think by F K she meant Fawad Khan. If K inspiring you in a nine infinity what about love and affliction I think some part of FK did inspire me to write love and affliction as well, as well because I know most of the people are going to hate me for this but but main kya karu I, I draw inspiration from him uh, whenever I, I write the character I, I, I always have his picture in my mind so yeah I definitely see that that Sharmad is 100% inspired by him do you feel that you write easily in love and affliction comparing to anna infinity love and affliction was a difficult book to write anna infinity was much more easier i'd say and um, the inspiration behind love and anna affliction is definitely uh, all of you the love and the endless support that support that you've given me that's enough for me to write another book and work on another book okay the first question that i'm taking from twitter is from hasna she is a very very good friend of mine give us an insight into your main characters uh the main character the female protagonist is her name is meher she is a student studying in kc and she studies journalism she um comes from a from an army family her, her dad is a retired general and uh, she you know her family is quite strict quite reserved and but but she loves traveling and uh, when she comes to find out that their friends are planning a trip to kashmir she becomes very excited and when she goes over there she finds a huge difference between the two characters she is completely different at home and she is completely different when she goes outside sarmad is um, 
uh, is the male protagonist of this novel and he is my most favorite character fictional character so far i i, I know i might offend a few ahmed murad fans by saying that i am much more drawn towards sarmat's character i think he definitely wins over ahmed as well so i hope you guys love his character he's quite different he has a dark background his past is quite intense he's a bad guy he's the he's the villain of the story yeah right he's not the hero he's the villain of the story he has a negative character and i love bad guys whether they are in movies or in novels acha ariba noor asks me which one you love the most and the infinity or love and affliction both of them i love both of them i cannot choose either of them and i know he was my first novel and with that with the help of that novel i stepped into this writing industry so i can't just leave that one out this question is from khan jaan khan jaan salam walikum assalam what is the basic difference between love and affliction what kind of question is that i don't think i got your question sorry i couldn't answer your question because i had no idea what were you asking me i think this was the last question i had from twitter thank you so much for posting uh, your questions for me thank you so much for showing love support for my second book i can't begin to describe how excited i feel when i you know read your messages read your comments and uh, then there was a time uh, when you were sending me a lot of fan made book covers for love and affliction thank you so much uh, for the support that you've given to my second novel i feel truly blessed to have all of you in my life and uh, wait till it get till it gets published and i'll let you know about its state of release as well so keep keep in touch and uh, keep reading my novels thank you so much love you bye i hope you guys have liked my page on facebook it's sar navid writer uh, please do like and uh, support my work I have also created a page for love and fiction as well. I hope you guys have liked it as well as well. So please do like my pages and support my upcoming novel. Thank you so much.